This example is to illustrate to you how to construct a confident interval for the population mean. The problem is this. You work for a consumer advocate agency and want to find the mean repair cost of a washing machine. As part of your study, you randomly select 40 repair costs and find the mean to be $100. The sample standard deviation is 17.50. Construct a 95% confident interval for the population of the repair costs. First, let's recall how to find the confident intervals for the population mean, even a sample mean, with a confidence of 1 minus alpha times 100%. That mean will fall in the interval x bar minus z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root n and x bar plus z alpha over 2 sigma square root n. And what is z alpha over 2? Recall that z alpha over 2 is a number on the standard normal curve such that the central area is 1 minus alpha and the tail on both ends each is alpha over 2. So let's look at the problem now. We are given a few things. First, you'll, you'll find that you have selected 40 repair costs. So this means that n equals 40. And you'll find the sample mean of this 40 cost is $100. So that means x bar is equal to 100. And you also find the sample standard deviation 17.50. So we have s equal to 17.50. Now this is going to be replaced sigma in the formula since sigma is unknown. You can do this provided n is large enough. So n is 40 which is large enough. And we're going to construct a 95% confident interval for the population mean. So that means that you're looking for the centered normal curve where the center area is 95%, which means you look at the graph. Center is 95%. So the remaining 5% will be evenly distributed with both n, each of the 2.5%. Using the standard normal graph, the point we're looking for this is z 2.5% alpha over 2, right? Which is z 2.5%. And what is this number here? z 2.5% using the standard normal. We know that this is low at the center and n is 2.5%. And that means that the area from the center 0 to z alpha over 2 and the area because it is 2.5% so the blue area here will be 47.5% or 0.475. And if this area is 0 0.475, let's look at the table now. The table 0 0.475, so you get is this number, and this is 1.96. 1.96 for a 95% confidence interval. 1.96 from the table. Now we are ready to compute the confident interval for mu now, so a 95%
confident interval for mu is x bar minus z alpha over 2 should be sigma over square root n x bar plus z alpha over 2 sigma over square root n we know x bar is equal to 100 and z alpha over 2 is 1.96 now, sigma we have we don't know, but we can use a standard division of sample which is seventeen point five zero to replace seventeen point five zero, and the n is forty. So the next the other n is one hundred plus one point nine six times seventeen point fifty over square root of forty. So now we press the calculator, which is ninety four point five eight. So one o five point four two, and that is a ninety five percent confident interval for mu. So that means that we are ninety five percent sure that the mu will fall inside this interval. That's the end of this recording.